Before starting this tutorial, let me tell you something. If you are a 3D artist, doesn't matter the field, and you don't know how to use ZBrush, learn ZBrush as soon as possible, especially if you are struggling with modeling techniques. There's a rule in realistic renders. In order to achieve realism, you need to eliminate hard edges. And it's obvious because in real life, even on hardest edges, like a piece of paper, if you zoom enough, you will see it's not totally hard. So as a rule of thumb, always remember your edges should have highlights. Today I want to show you how to clean your meshes and convert them to quad topology so you'd be able to define the edges the way you want them to be in a really easy way. Here we have a CAD model and I want to clean the topology. So I will first add a subdivide. Change the size and then add the topology. And compute. And as you can see, we've got a clean topology in a fraction of seconds. So now we can either add a turbo smooth to round the edges or we can add a open subdiv all right increase the iteration and it looks like it's acting like turbo smooth but if you add a crease set put it before the open subdiv just see the crease set I can grab the edges and then select and it will automatically according to angles select the hard edges and here I create a group something like this create set and now we can change the hardness of the edges by this number if I enable the show end result you can see when I increase this number the edges are becoming harder and harder like this so maybe point two here is all right okay so now when I open up the renderer and assign a for example gold material you can see we have the highlights and the edges and the intersections of the model and if I disable the open subdiv you can see the hard edges we do not even have a border here as you can see here most of the time you can use retopology to clean your models but sometimes you cannot use retopology for example here you have a bigger object with so many small details and it cannot be handled by retopology so what can I do in these cases I just grab it to the center, grab the object, go to the file, export, export selected, give the name and export it as obj. Since the object is facing to the top, I can disable the flip yz axis and I do not need the material so untick these two, change the preset to zbrush and export. Done. Now I will switch to zbrush. All right, here we are in the ZBrush. First, let me close this light box. All right, here is our viewport. By hitting the Control N, you can reset the viewport. And uh, first I need to make it bigger to full screen. So I go to the document. While the W size is enabled, I click on the new document. And now I have the full screen. So first I need to import. So go to the tool, import and choose our model hold click and now we have the object by holding the shift you can snap your object so it will no longer rotating so I hold shift and release the click and we have the object if I again click you can see we can add it to the scene to get rid of this simply hold Control and N so click drag hold shift release it and then click on edit so now your object is editable you can start sculpting or whatever you want all right before jumping on to the retopology section i need to show you how to navigate in zbrush 
right click have a huge role in ZBrush. If I hold right click, I can rotate my model. If I hold shift, I can snap it to 90 degree. If I hold alt and then hold right click at the same time and then just release the alt, I can zoom in or zoom out. I can also use control and right click to zoom and there's no difference between the two. By holding the alt and right click, you can pan. So right click, rotate, hold, alt, right click, pan, control, right click, zoom. All right, now you are seeing the object with segments. So to turn it off, you need to click on this icon, which is draw polyframe. If you click on this icon and there is no segment in the viewport, you need to click on this little line. As you can see, I can enable or disable the segments and that's it. All right. As you can see, we have different objects here. First, I need to merge all of them into a single one. So I go here from the geometry panel. I go to the Dynamesh and hit the Dynamesh. So as you can see, we've done merging all the objects. But the problem is the resolution is way, way too low. So we've lost all the details. So I hit Control Z, increase the resolution to something like 1400 and hit Dynamesh. All right. When you enable the Dynamesh, it's enabled. You can change your model, hold Control, drag the mouse, and it will redynamish your model. So unless you disable it, it will be enabled. All right. I just Control Z. Now you can see We've attached the text to the high poly model and we need to fix some problems. As you can see, the topology here is a little wonky and we need to clean it. So I can go to the deformation and click polish, increase the polish to polish the model. You can see we've kind of cleaned our topology but we've lose huge amount of details from our text so I hit Control Z and use another feature which is polish by crisp edges so it will detect the edges and will preserve them so I give it something around 20 now it's much more better maybe another one all right now you can see let's turn this off how easily we've created a new topology and it's so much fast and if you want you can do further cleanup maybe i will use relax to relax everything now is much more better if you want to relax some areas by hand, you can also do it. So if you hit B in ZBrush, you open up the brush select and you can choose from different kinds of brushes in ZBrush. For example, here I choose clay build up brush to show you just how the relax will work. So I hit B and C and again B. It's a shortcut for clay build up. Now, as you can see, if I hold shift, I can relax it. All right. I can relax it, clean the topology. I just hold control Z. And here you can see some kind of a weird structure in the topology. I just hold shift and try to relax these areas. Just like so. So here we have the same problem. And now instead of just painting everything by hand, first I decrease the size of the draw size. You can hold S and change your brush size, or you can change it by draw size from here. So I need to mask these details and then relax all of the other places of the model. Now I hold control, mask the details. I'm just masking. All right. If you hold control and click, you can invert the mask. So these areas which are painted black are masked. So if I now 
increase the polish to 100 for example. So you can see the artifacts are gone and maybe I just relax it one more time one more time and one more time there we have it super clean mesh now in the outside of the object you hold control drag to get rid of the masks and you can if you want there's no need to do that but if you want you can clean these areas by holding shift and just relaxing these areas all right now i need to export it go to the tool export and export it to an obj all right so hit the import and import our model all right here import it as a single mesh and as an edit poly and untick the retriangulate polygons all right hit import and wait all right let's see the end result side by side here's the before here's the after okay now i will just assign a simple gold material to these objects enable the renderer first say this one you can see there's no border but here we have a clean topology 